Today we are going to the Castillo San Felipe del Moro. up there with all this clear ground it was done on purpose to uh, aid in the defense of an attack from the rain. So I don't know, it just it's up from the sea but, but also the land by keeping it under cover of the sea with here on the entry way to the floor. This is the pathway, passage here into El Moro. Iconic pictures of, of San Juan, just looking out over over the shoreline and out to uh, the Castillo de, uh, de San Cristobal and uh, La Perla. There's the Atlantic Ocean. We're about ready to enter. Used to be a drawbridge here, and uh, this is part of the uh, the dry moat that also protected. The fort, which is here on the headlands, protecting and guarding the inner harbor of uh, San Juan. And uh, San Juan actually was the first um, large harbor with fresh water that the Europeans would encounter when they sailed uh, west from Europe. So that's why they made this, uh, made San Juan and Puerto Rico here so strategically important. Um, actually, the Spanish uh, defended this area for close to 400 years because of its strategic importance. A couple of cruise ships here today, so uh, we have a few more people than we've, we've seen in the past. But here again, the uh, Tres Banderas, United States flag, the Puerto Rican flag, and the, uh, what is that, the, the battle flag of Spain. That's uh, the Burgundy Cross, the military flag of Spain. Pretty interesting here, they still fly it. Light here over this way. Uh, this fort. Looking out into the old city here. This place has got uh, six levels. I think we're on level six now. Is uh, Isla de Cabras, and uh, it also provided some defense of the inner harbor. But uh, also in the 1800s, it had a hospital for, for uh, uh, actually a leper colony over there. But uh, now it's a recreation area that you can actually drive to. So there's a little beach, some concessions. Maybe interesting to take a day trip there at some point in time. Going into the Garita. It's just stunning. Wow. One is hanging out here on the wall. I saw a few of these the other day in the other fort. Living quarters. Interesting, the, uh, the Spanish roots into the Caribbean and uh, the Western Hemisphere from Spain, Puerto Rico being the first stop, and then uh, out through all the other places, Veracruz and uh, 
Cuba in Santo Domingo. Very interesting. And then the interesting for us is Veracruz because we were actually in Acapulco and Acapulco was the port that the Spanish uh, brought things from the Philippines into and then they traveled by land. Um, they, they moved that stuff by land from uh, Acapulco to Veracruz. Went down the ramp to level four. into the Atlantic and over the harbor entrance. That was another level and a walkway around the outside of it. That must be the El Paseo. This survey in the ocean here. This is the original tower. And they're either commonly referred to now as level two. from 1539. And here, the uh, San Juan National Historic Site and La Fortaleza have been designated a World Heritage Site. 1983. So thanks for walking through San Felipe del Morro with us. We found this fort to be fascinating. We hope you do too. Don't forget now to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell to be notified of our upcoming videos. And until then, may your suitcase always be messy. Hasta luego.